Dutch cyclists live longer than people who don't use a bike, according to a new study. Researchers at the University of Utrecht believe that cycling isn't just good for your health, but it can actually add years to your life. Anna Holligan's got on her bike to explore the findings. So this is what rush hour looks like in many parts of the Netherlands. How does it compare to your commute? Cycling is so much a way of life here that most people don't even stop to think about what's actually happening to their bodies as a result of all this pedaling. People in the Netherlands cycle about 74 minutes per week and it gives them about half a year longer life expectancy only due to cycling. Carline and her team used a calculation tool developed by the World Health Organization. Yes, yeah, so the WHO tool uses a figure that is based on previous research that tells you that for every 100 minutes that you cycle, your mortality rate reduction is 10%. And when we apply this to the population data of the Netherlands, this translates into 6,500 deaths that are prevented each year for the Netherlands. You could say that for every hour that you cycle, you get an extra hour back in return. So it adds to your life, actually. This low-lying nation is often referred to as a cyclist paradise. Most streets have cycle paths. In fact, the country is crisscrossed with 37,000 kilometers of segregated cycle lanes. Dutch children are eased into cycling at an early age and it helps the older generations to keep fit too. There is considerable bike parking at train stations and here in Utrecht, they're planning to build the world's biggest bike parking garage with space for 12,000 bicycles. We've come to meet the Netherlands' self-proclaimed cycling ambassador. Jump on board. Of course, there's a huge history behind it, but the main part is that we've made it possible. It's convenient, it's comfortable, it's safe. So people act accordingly. They don't really think about it, which is a good thing. We found out that it's better for cities, better for health. Even a granny of 88 doesn't have to think about hopping on a bike. The new figures only apply to the Netherlands, but the tool could be used beyond Dutch borders. You can do this calculation for any European country as long as you have good data on cycling levels and mortality rates. Rich and poor people in the Netherlands cycle quite a bit. There's still this big gap in, in health. And also in low-income countries, of course, physical activity contributes to your health. And maybe even because in these countries the sedentary lifestyle is not so much there yet, their daily physical activity also contributes, contributes to their life expectancy. The researchers hope that their results will encourage governments around the world to invest in cycling. And the evidence from here in the Netherlands is that cycling isn't just for fun, it's for life. OK, let's find out what's happening in sport. It's probably all too exciting for me to listen to, but at the BBC <laughs> Sports Centre, Richmond is the details. Hello.